All right, so uh, here we go with the spoon making tutorial as requested by Mr. Zul. Um, so I thought about this. Uh, we could make a just an easy um, sector spoon, not too hard. So we might start with that, and then I'm actually going to try and make a 3D spoon, um, complete with you know a bit of cuppage um, in media. So spoon shape, the lips half of the spoon so uh we'll use our circle drawing tool um ellipse tool so not a circle but a, you know uh, an oval um go for a 24 sides uh, which is always a good number i quite like this one um and um all we'll do is we'll use stair builder to build it in uh so you get like the, you know, the sides of the spoon and then a bit of a bowl um and we're going to draw a half so we'll uh, bring our grid in to uh, how wide is the spoon? Spoon handle? About there? A little bit of guesswork. I've never made a spoon before. It's pretty spoon shaped. I think that's pretty spoon shaped. Um, so we've got, got a handle. We've got a basic spoon. That's the easy way out. This, this is the easy spoon. Um, we're going to use our curve tool to uh, just, just round off the edge here. So we want it at 180 degree angle because that is half of an ellipse when using the, uh, the curve line tool. Now we've got a good, pretty nice, pretty nice spoon shape there. Um, right, that's the easy part. Um, what we're going to do is turn this into 3D floors. So 3D floor plugin, add 3D floor. Let's raise it off the ground a little bit. We've probably wanted about 24 watt high. Here we go. We have a 3D floating. It's more of a paddle at the moment. Um, let's pick a bit of texture, a bit of spoon texture. What a stone, stone spoon, wooden spoon. Metal spoon, probably. We'll go OI. Oh, um, if my computer can fucking keep up with it. Uh, so we'll probably use the one of the smooth OI oh, and flats if I can find it. The fuck. Why can't I find it? Oh, fuck it, we'll just use marble. Ooh, let's type the textures. Like marble spoon. Alright. There we go. Nice black marble spoon. Uh, let's provide a bit of contrast with ice. Alright. Here's our spoon. Basic spoon chip. Pretty straightforward. Now, we're going to use the stair builder to build out. Uh, out or in? Probably out. Build out. Yeah, we'll build out. Make it a bigger spoon. Lines. I just need to face the other way. So make sure our lines are facing the same way. So we're going to make them all face out like that. Use sector select to grab the lines. We'll just deselect those two because we just want to grab the outside ones. Use the sector builder. Single steps. Distinct sectors. Now, now that I think about it, that is going to make arcing the bowl more difficult. So we will go inwards for here. At 16, we will again use single set and we use distinct sectors so we get those separations. Actually, do I want a rim? I do want a rim. So let's let's do this. So we'll do we'll do eight for the first so we've got a nice flat flat room around the edge um and then we'll do 16 with the sink sectors so we can curve it in slightly uh, into a flatter um uh you know recessed and you know spoons need to cut then to cut so now we need to separate all these sectors out now fortunately normally uh historically without the 3d floor plugin you have to individually make these 3d floors but we have a function in 3d floor mode called split it's going to make me every one of those sectors is going to become its own 3d floor bang done it's going to take a while because it's drawing i don't know 40 sectors uh we will detach this one as well oh that is separate I think that's fine all right we'll just make sure 
Ah, that is merged with that one. Okay, that, that's alright. We just that's okay. So this can now be lowered. Let's make the bowl a different colour. And now what we can do is curve these. Because the slope handle will alter even 3D floors. Fantastic new feature, courtesy of Boris. Down, down, down. So now we've got now we've got an act. Our spoon can now cup. Very, very, very important. We can even just raise that up slightly, give it a little bit more of a lip. And um, you know what? We'll give it a give it an arc base as well. You do have to do these all individually. Um, there's no real quick, easy way to automate this. So, but with the slope handle tool, all you're doing is just rolling it down um, eight map units each each time. So the same when you when you move a sector. Oops, let's see, we grabbed the wrong handle there. Um, so the yellow is the uh, yellow part of the slope handle is the uh, line that is moving. The blue is the pivot point. It is pretty intuitive about um, where the pivot point is, but it doesn't always. Uh, Figure it out right, so you can select uh, the handle with a left click and then select the pivot point with a right click. Uh, so this one I actually want to straighten this up, like that. And maybe we will change the base here again to the blue. We might just lower that down a little bit, give it a little bit of a little bit of edging detail, like that. There you go. Bit of a spoon. Um, and I think we will also round the handle off. So we'll grab these lines, we'll do another stair build um, here. Oops, I missed a line, there we go. Um, probably just eight single sec steps, distinct sectors again, so we get that segmentation happening there. Do -do -do. We'll bring this line through, just so it meets uh, the edge of the, the bowl of the spoon. Um, that handle there, again we want to tag this with a 3D4. So what I'll do is use the same tag here, apply that, 297, and then do the split function. So these all become distinct 3D floors again. Um, you can click split there, you can click split all here. They both essentially do the same thing. There we go. Now we can do, again, move to the slope handle mode. Let me shift W. Just round out, grab the wrong one. There we go. So panels can be a little bit tricky to grab. There we go. Finally got it. There we go. That one there. Just gonna round out the uh, the the back of the handle. Top and bottom. Come up. You go. There you go. Here we go. And I think uh, once we've done this, we'll, we'll we will light the spoon. Um, a little bit of dynamic lighting to highlight. A lovely beveling that we've done. There we go. Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty nice. Pretty nice spoon, I think. So I'll just grab a dynamic light, center it on the bowl. It seems like the natural place uh, for a light to be. We'll make it relatively big. Go for one nine two to start with. Up we come. Something like that. Let's look at it in game. Make it make a bend in the stem. <laughs> there we go. We've got a spoon. Would you like your soup, sir? So, um, while that was a bit of a, a bit of memory, uh, actually, you know, a good um, showcase for the power of the 3D floor plugin using the slope handle uh, to make a spoon. Um, how easy it is to uh, you know separate out the 3D floor uh, into individual um, pieces and and uh, give you know a, a floating bevel like that, which would have been insanely difficult to do um, with the old methods of manually creating 3D floor control sectors that were parallel to the slopes. Um, you know, just definitely something that would, would have taken fucking days to make that, 
under the old the old system um but now within yeah less than 10 minutes um can make turn a meme into an actual useful tutorial so there you go mr zul i hope you enjoy your spoon um it's quite big um so i don't know how useful it will be uh i don't know that you can turn into a uh, dog bed um uh maybe even you could sleep there um <laughs> You're most welcome, Mr. Zool. You're most welcome. Thank you for uh, thank you for uh, using your points to, for a tutorial, um, and uh, hopefully other people will uh, do the same at some point. Thank you. Uh, that is the end of how to make a spoon in Doom Builder um, using 3D floors um, and a nice dynamic light to highlight the bowl. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.